Okay, watch out. I'm cooking again. All right, Margaret's still not home. It's the 16th, and uh, just not getting good news on her. But I'm I'm not going to think about that. I'm going to keep positive thoughts. Okay, but we got to eat. So, I am going to make what I call Hiker's Hearty Vegetable Soup. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, so we got a pot here. We're going to start off with our pot. Uh, boy, it looks small in the video, but it's it's big. It's big. Right now there's nothing in there, but what we're going to do is we're going to throw in two cans of beef broth, 50% less sodium. You want a little bit of salt in there because, well, you don't have to, but I like a little bit of salt, so it's 50%. Two cans go in there, and uh, as I'm cooking everything, I'll be adding water to it. Not much. And if it's not beefy enough <laughs> for me, I have these packs of beef broth. They're powder. Uh, these have no sodium. So I don't want to go too crazy with the sodium. We have a yellow onion, nice and sweet. That gets chopped up. Uh, to remember, everything is to the size and the amount you want. You can't go wrong with this. Um, that's last, so I'll get to that last. We have celery hearts here. We'll use probably one and a half. Again, I don't know how much I'm going to use. We'll see as we go along. I taste everything. I I, I can't give you measurements because I kind of taste everything as I'm cooking it, and then. I decide if I want to add more or whatever. Um, <laughs> I'm not good at explaining stuff. All right. Um, we have a bunny love uh, baby carrots. Yes, bunny love. And uh, <laughs> throw this whole bag in. Parsley. Probably use about a third of this. Elbow macaroni, you cook that in a different pot on the side, and you add, they're really small. You can use any kind of pasta you want, but I feel like using elbow uh, pasta, this, the very small one. And also, this gets thrown in just at the very end when everything's all done. You put in as much as you want to your likings. And this is... A bocce ball. No, this is a turnip, but look at the size of this sucker. It's not soup season, so I guess I couldn't get the uh, the size I wanted. I only wanted like a third of this, but <laughs> my neighbor said she'll take the other two thirds of it. So I use about a third of this. Skin it, of course, and then chop it up to uh, your likings. I might even use a little bit more. I might use half. I don't know. I like all this stuff. Alright, so let's see. We get to everything. Oh no, the potatoes. Alright. Everything's in except your macaroni. Your pasta. Put the pasta on the side. That gets cooked separately. Now, this is important right here. Little potatoes. They're yellow and red potatoes. They're small. Look at my hand. Now the thing is, you want to put this in like when you're about two-thirds of the way done cooking this because if you put them in now they'll just disintegrate into mush um, you put them in about two-thirds of the way done and everything is done by taste here so it's really hard to tell you times and amounts but I'm going to use this whole bag and the thing is they'll get mushy and make this creamy but they won't disintegrate to nothing, so I will have some potatoes in there. So that's about it. So let me get everything all chopped up, diced up, sliced up, and uh, I'll be right back. Okay, we're having soup tonight, man. Yeah. Okay, the yellow onion. Yeah, cut it pretty big, big pieces. Because this will also get mushy and they won't be as big. 
But seeing this is how big they are right now. Just dump, dump. All right, let me get the other piece. See, still got a lot more. It's okay. It, it, it'll lose that that really stinging flavor that uh, you really don't want. You want it to be sweet. All right, hold up. Be right back. Okay, it's our parsley. See, it's a nice amount. I cut the ends off. I don't like the ends. You might like them, I don't. So let's put that in. Uh, you know, let me chop it up a little bit more. Hold up, because, yeah, haven't made this in a while. All right, let me chop it up. Hold up. No more. All right, that's better. Still a bit long. All right. So I'll do one hit. <laughs> dump that in. All right, let me dump it in. Be right back. You know what? Hmm. I'm going to use a little bit more. Hold up. <laughs> be right back. <laughs> I got to say that. All right, be right back. There's our celery. So, it's a nice amount. Let's see how everything's in there. Now remember, don't get scared about those onions. Because they're going to get uh, nice and mushy and... They're sweet. Hmm, I should have bought more uh, carrots. We're gonna have to deal with that. Let me see, is that enough parsley for me? Man, but everything's still tasting. Uh, I don't know, I, I might put, yeah, I'm gonna put a little more parsley in there. Okay. All right, and then we're gonna cut this, um, we're gonna cut this baby up right here. Be right back. Okay, I cut the ends off because uh, when you buy it in the store, the ends usually get you know brown from you know being in the store. And I cut the end off too. You don't want to eat that. You really don't. I mean, I don't know. Maybe some of you like it. I don't. It's hard. All right, now we're gonna cut this into sizes that I like. Be right back. Okay, so you can see they're cut up into pretty big pieces. Why not? Remember, it's called Hardy. <laughs> Hikers. <laughs> Wait, what did I call it? <laughs> I just named it today. Hikers Hardy Vegetable Soup. You know what? I'm going to eat this one. Hey, it's me. What's up, Doc? <laughs> Mmm, I love the hearts. Okay, let's get back to our cooking class. All right, let me chop the rest. <laughs> let me chop the rest of this up and then dump it in here. You know, I better start turning the uh, heat on here. Uh, I'm on the front. Okay. Now you don't want to boil this. You want to simmer it. It's going to simmer for a long time, too. Okay, be right back. Got to cut the rest of this up. All right. You see how much we use? We only use this much. But you want to get that skin off because it's like, uh, it's like plastic. It's really gross. You don't, you definitely don't want to eat that, you know? So I'm only using this much. Oh, yeah. You see this tattoo? I mean, let me get this over with once and for all. Uh, Dan was asking about it. Um, and a lot of people always ask me, uh, what prison did you have that done in? <laughs> this is something I did to myself. I gave myself this tattoo, and I don't want to say how you do it, because I don't want any kids, if they watch this, to do it. Um, I, I was like 15 years old, uh, and I was going out with a girl. Her, her initials were AF. Now, you see the A and the F? together right there okay uh, a couple of months later when she broke up with me <laughs> I put the X there you see the X so my ex-girlfriend 
she uh, actually uh, took my virginity. <laughs> <That's>, <laughs> I tell you guys everything, man. That's why I put it there, and it was really a stupid thing to do. But I'm having it taken off. It's going to cost a lot, man. <laughs> it's $100 a session. It's a laser treatment. And they said it's going to take three, four, or five sessions to get that off. That cost about $1.50 to put on, for me to put on myself. And it's going to cost about 500 bucks to have that taken off. So that's the uh, story about that. I hate that damn tattoo. All right, so remember, wash this turn up with that. Wash the turn up really good. Wash it up and cut it up to the size you want. Dump it in, and I'll be right back. Okay, uh, we chopped up half of it. Hey, with the tattoo, if anybody uh, comments on how to do this to yourself, I'm going to delete it because I don't want any kids knowing how to do this. Um... Probably most kids know how to do it, but I just don't want it on my page. You know, I love all you guys, but if you comment how to do this, how to mangle your, yourself like this, I'm just going to erase it. So please don't mention it, okay? Alright, so this is the size I like. Remember, everything is to the way you want it. But this is called hearty. <laughs> Hikers hearty vegetable soup. So everything's big. Big, 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 big. Big flavor. And I'm going to add some more water. And uh, I'll be tasting it throughout the, uh, it's, you know, the cooking procedure, if you will. Um, I'll probably have to add a pack or two of more uh, of beef broth with no sodium. But this is going to take... Uh, I haven't made this in a long time. It's going to take a while to cook. Probably two hours. Because you really want to simmer it slow. And okay, I'll, okay, it's 2.30. And I'll let you know how long it takes before I put the potatoes in. Alright, so let me uh, cut the rest of this up. Dump it all in. And then we're going to cover it. And simmer it. All right, so that's that, and I'll be tasting everything as the Hiker's Hardy Vegetable Soup Procedure continues. Be back in about an hour and a half. Okay. See you then. All right, let's try and get most of them in there. Hold up. Cheryl, when you do this, you have somebody helping you. Film it. I'm doing this all one <laughs> Oh, yeah, we can get all of these in there. Yeah, let them get in there now so they get mushy and they create some sort of like a... They make it creamy or... Just not, not creamy, but... You know. No, you don't know. Uh, it just kind of like... Um, makes it makes the soup <laughs> not as thin <laughs> I'm terrible at it. I'd, I'd be I'd be canceled my first season of my cooking show but you see the onions how quick they uh, they get mushy already Wow it's like 45 minutes now no 40 minutes yeah you don't need any pasta in this that's for sure all right, I hope I didn't put the potatoes in too late. Well, I'll just cook it until uh, they get done. Right, let's cover this up. I think I gotta turn the uh, heat up a little bit more. Yeah, we'll make the heat like three quarters. All right, see you in a little while. Okay, it's 3.21 and I had to, uh, I checked everything and this, this sucker was really bubbling so I turned the uh, the heat that <laughs> I really suck at this don't I I can cook though this is gonna taste really good but trying to explain everything I'm not too good at it I had to turn the heat down uh, to uh, let's see uh, one third so yeah okay all right 
let it cook away. Look how good that's starting to look, huh? Mm -mm -mm. Yeah, definitely uh, no pasta. There's going to be plenty in there. Wow, there's going to be enough in here. Wow, there's a lot there. <laughs> okay, I'll be back in a little while to check up on it. Okay, let's give this a... Uh, a check. I tasted the soup. It tastes delicious. Oh, really good. Um, the soup itself um, is not as watery, but when I said creamy, I didn't mean creamy. It just you know, just not as uh, liquidy. It's a little more dense, and uh, you know. <laughs> um, all right, it's just about 5.20, so that's how long it's been cooking. And the way you test it out is you put some pieces out here and you, uh, you feel. Okay, that's pretty soft. Carrots are soft. Mmm, mmm, ah, mmm. Turnips? Mmm. Celery. Mmm. Oh my god. Um. Yep, it's done. So, uh, let's see. 2.30 we started it. Two, three, four, five. So, three hours. And there it is. Uh, let me uh, put a bowl out and I'll show you what it looks like on the plate. So, as I say after every video clip, be right back. Okay, we took a nice amount out. Oh, my cat wants some. You don't want this. And there it is. Tiger's hearty vegetable soup. I think it's just vegetable soup, no potato soup. And that is going to taste delicious. So those potatoes are uh, different color than red and uh, yellow ones. They don't look cooked, but they are, trust me, they are just enough to my likings now you know you like I said this is all the way you would want it to taste so you just keep testing it so for me it took about three hours and there it is all right so I'm gonna eat this up and um, there you go all right well I hope if <laughs> You could figure my directions if you want to make this. Um, it's pretty simple. It's just a lot of ingredients. And it really does taste good. Okay, I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching. Hopefully I'll get back on the trails. Okay, thanks for watching.